Good morning children. Welcome back to your maths class. In previous class, I taught multiplication with regrouping of ones and tens individually. Right? Today, I am going to explain multiplication with regrouping of tens and ones. Okay children? Exercise 5.12 See, 26 12 sums are there. Out of 12 sums, I am going to explain 6 sums. Okay, children? So, the A, A1, 69 into 7. So, 69 you should multiply by 7. 7 nines are in a 7th table. 7 nines are 63. Right? Right side number you should write in the 1's place and 6 will be the carrying number. Now, you are going to multiply by 10th plus 7 6 are 7 6 are 42 42 plus 6 carrying number which you have to do addition 42 plus 6 43 44 45 46 47 48 that 48 no other number to take carrying so that 48 you write here so 69 into 7 how much 483. Okay, children. See, B1, 76 into A. You, 76, you should multiply by A. Always you should multiply from 1's plus onwards. See, what is the 1's plus? Is it here? 6. 8, 6. Uh, how much? 48. That 8 you should write in the 1's column and 4 will be the carrying number. 8 7's are 56. 56 plus 4 because carrying number is there. Right? 56 plus 4. 57, 58, 59, 60. There is no need to write the carrying number. So that 60 you write here. So what is the number now? 76 into 8 is equal to 608. Okay, children. Now, see the C1. 63 into 5. Start multiplication from 1's plus onwards. 5 3's are 15. 5 you should write. Right side number write in the 1's column. And left side number is the carrying number. 5 6's are 30. 30 plus 1, 31. So, what is the answer? The product is 315. Okay, now I am going to explain the D1, 42 into 9, right, start from 1's place onwards, 9 to the 18, that 8 you should write in the 1's column down and 1 will be the carrying number, 9 4's are 36, 36 plus 1, 37, why I am writing here, because no number to do multiplication. Clear children? So 42 into 9 is 378. Now even 29 into 4. So start from 1's place. 4 9's are 36. 6 is right here and 3 will be the carrying number. 4 2's are 8. 8 plus 3. 9, 10, 11. So what is the number product is 116. 29, if you are multiplying by 4, the product is 116. Now, I am going to explain the F1. See here, 1's plus digit is carrying and 10's plus also. Clear children? Now, A2's are 16. 6 years should write in the 1's column and 1 will be the carrying number. A5's are 40. 40 plus 1, 41. Why I am writing here directly? Because no other number to do multiplication. So 52 into 8 is equal to how much? 416. Remaining 6 sums you take as a homework. Now I am going to explain 5.13. See, exercise 5.13. Multiply. Same number. Okay. See here. Start from 1's place. Total 24 sums are there. Out of 24, I am going to explain 8 sums. Remaining I will see. See, 8 ones are 
8, there is no carrying number. Right? Now, 8 fives are 40. Here also no number to do multiplication. So, no need to write the carrying. The 40 you should write here. So, 51 into 8 uh, is equal to 408. This is called the product. Okay, children. Now, I am going to explain the B1. 54 into 6. Start from 1's place onwards. 6 fours are 24. That 4 you should write here and 2 will be the carrying number. 6 fives are, now I am going to multiply with the 10's plus digit, right? 6 fives are 30. 30 plus 2, 31, 30. 30. Right? So 54 into 6 how much? 324. This 324 is called product and 54 is called multiplicand and 6 is called multiplicand. Okay, now I am going to explain the C1, 47 into 6. 6 sevens are 42. If you learn the tables, it will come very easily. Right? And 4 will be the carrying number. 6 fours are 24. 24 plus 4. 25, 26, 27, 28. That you should write here. So, 288, 47 into 6 is equal to 282. Now, I am going to explain the D1, 79 into 8. Start from 1's place. 8 9's are 72. 2 you should write here. And 7 will be the carrying number. 8 7's are 56. 56 plus 7. 57, 58, 59, 60. 61, 62, 63. So, what is the answer? 632. 79 into 8 is 630. Now, I am going to explain the E1. 15 into 6. Starts from 1 square. 6 pies are 30. 0 right here and 3 is the carry number. 6 ones are 6 plus 3. 9, 90. Clear children? Now F1. 53 into 6. 6 threes are 18. In that 8, 1's plus digit is right in the 1's plus. And 1 10's plus digit is the carrying number. 6 fives are 30. 30 plus 1, 31. Okay? So what is the answer here? 318. Clear children? 46 into 6. Right? Now start from 1 square. 6 is 36. That 6 you should write in the 1's plus digit. Should write in the 1's column and 10's plus digit is the carrying number. 6 4 is 34. 34 plus, uh, sorry, 6 is 36. 3 is the carrying number. 6 4 is 24. 24 plus 3, 25, 26, 26. So, 272. 46 into 6, 276. Okay, children. Now, which one? 54 into 6. Now, what well, I told you, 6 fours are 24. That 4 you should write here. And 2 will be the carrying. 6 fives are 30. 30 plus 2, 32. So, 54 into 6 is equal to 325. Okay, children? See, children, now J1. In that total, how many sums are there? I told you? 24 sums. Out of 24, I am going to explain 12 sums. Remaining 12, you take as a homework. Okay? See here, 18, you should multiply by 8. Starts from 1 square. 8 eights are 64. That 4 you should write in the 1's column. And 6 is the carrying number. 8 ones are 8. 8 plus 6. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So 140. 18 into 8 is 140. Okay? Now 38 you should multiply by 3. 3 eights are 24. 4 you should write here and 2 will be the carrying number. 1's plus digit you write in the 1's column 
And 10 plus 3 is the carrying number. 3 3 is 9. 9 plus 2 11. So what is the answer? 38 into 3 114. Okay. Now I am going to explain the K1. 48 into 5. Always starts from 1's place onwards. 5 8's up. 40. 0 right here and 4 will be the carrying number. 5 4's up. 20. 20 plus 4, 20. So 48 into 5 is 240. Okay. Now L1, 48 into 3. 3 8's up. 24 starts from 1's place now. So 4 you write here and 2 will be the carrying number. 3 4's up. 12, 12 plus 2, 30, 14. So 144. 48 into 3 is 144. Remaining sums you take as a homework and your quarterly syllabus is completed. So practice well. Tomorrow onwards I am going to give revision pages. Practice well. I will meet you in the next class. Thank you. Have a nice day.